So guys, we are gonna start off with Hub. Let me let me do a little bit of fly around. This is a uh, n well new map to Quake Live, very old map for us old school folks. Uh, let's talk a little bit about a few things. Uh, this red armor can be reached easily with the rocket jump, but even easier with a strafe jump off of this little corner piece here. Easier than ever. Yeah, it's, it's very simple strafe. Uh, you start a circle jump back here, land here, and you're up at the right armor. Uh, th that's the nice easy way to do it without taking any damage. Um, you got uh, a lot of little winding passageways here. There are five teleporters on this map. I'm going to take them now. Um, this lower one here, it uh, pops you out above the grenade launcher. Now, if you go through at the correct angle, um, the teleporter keeps your momentum and your trajectory. So, if, for example, you um, you you, uh, you know like are jumping through the teleporter, then you can literally jump up to this platform here without falling down to the grenade launcher. And uh, that actually can be really helpful when you're not looking to get this yellow armor because all this teleporter does is take you straight up above it. So you can save yourself some time by jumping uh, with the correct trajectory through that teleporter and landing up here. And uh, then you can, and you can keep your momentum and grab yourself a railgun. Now this uh, teleporter here, we're going to go through it just to see where you pop out. There are green armors on this map. They are worth 25 armor. And as you can see, we are now um, on a... Uh, just near the mega health corridor. It's going to show up in 15 seconds right on this spot. But uh, these two teleporters, they, uh, you know, take you back and forth. Okay. Um, so it's not a one-way teleporter like those, the, the, the shorter one that I showed you before. Um, so if we go uh, back into the center of the map, mega was just pulled, uh, picked up right here. Now there's... Uh, there's one more. Let's see. Let's start out here. Here. Where did I start out? Yeah. There's one more teleporter. You go through here, and it just pops you up. Um, very similar to the other uh, sort of short-range teleporter. It's a one-way trip, uh, just popping you up to the uh, next Prepare highest platform. So we actually just saw F3s from both players. And Jahar, if you can kick us off, that would be fantastic. Sure thing. Going to be watching Homicidal Waffle as we get started here. He was complaining about some internet problems before, but there's going to be a quick grab for Mega and uh, Yellow and the Green. And I have to say, having that Yellow and Green swapped off for Quake Life, I really do like that. It, it changes up the dynamic of the map a lot. Homicidal Waffle with Railgun in hand has taken control of the top part of the map, even though Red Armor won't be up. So he's just really kind of wanting to own this area at the moment and look for Slasher to come to him and have timing for the next red armor coming up in just about three seconds but slasher can definitely turn that damage back around with solid rails coming out of him and so homicidal setup here is kind of falling to pieces as he's taking damage 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 from slasher's rail yeah although you know so far i'm gonna go take a look at slasher of course he is and able to collect this red armor so in case you're wondering i mean there's so many armors it's hard to keep track of but uh, yeah you know i'd well, love to see that added but well, yeah, but I think a lot of people might... Yeah, but they are absolutely vital. Uh, Homicidal Waffle yeah. actually up by one at the moment, walking into a handful of nades, chasing through the teleporter. Could backfire for him, but dropping down, I really wonder how familiar is he with the teleporters on the map? You know, that is one of the things where besides the geometry itself, you've really got to kind of find your bearings on it, and a lot of the play can be made just through these teleporters, and your mind game can be quite thoroughly screwed over. But Homicidal Waffle picking up Mega once again, Slasher down by one, gonna just be swapping my view over to him. He's got plenty of armor, and he's got a bead on Homicidal Waffle. Homicidal Waffle not quite sure where he is at the moment. Slasher looking to do some damage as Homicidal Waffle is down below the red armor area. But oh, coming through the teleporter. Nice Slasher's move. gonna be taking him from behind. It's gonna be a nice move, yeah, but not a lot of damage as Slasher backs right on out and gets a bit more damage done with Rocket Launcher. Takes down Homicidal Waffle and nice will be move. reaping red armor as a result. Yeah, and you know, Slasher was able to defend himself pretty well there. He jumps up to red, and uh, his next item is going to be a focus on the Mega Health. Just trying to hold down the center area. Um, you might see him chase a little bit. He's got time to do it. That's a nice hit of rail there. That's a pair. He's got to watch out for the, sh the close range shotgun, but he has been able to uh, 
collect the lead, he's gonna get the next red. And again, you can see him go back to the center of the map to start setting up for this mega health. Um, Waffle, on the other hand, should not be here at all. He's even missed out on the green armor, which again awards 25. Slasher is gonna double back for the mega, and now he's in great shape. Um, honestly, the only thing left up on the map that's useful for homicide of Waffle is gonna be one more green, and now he's collected the yellow. So, Slasher, um, if you go take a look, he also, uh, he actually has a lightning gun, whereas his opponent does not. So that gives Slash a little bit more of a, there he's going to switch up right there. Nice, um, use of the lightning gun to push Homicidal Waffle off of the LG and, of course, secure the red, or at least secure the red area when you don't make the jump. Yeah, and Slash is And really right game. now, All right. I mean, Homicidal yeah, Homicidal is rails. <laughs> are just not uh, homicidal's rails are just not putting up the pace. Rocket is going to be facing down Slasher quite a bit here, but he's still got control of red armor. Says screw you uh, to the jump. Just RJ's right in for it. Very nice combo through the grate, followed up by a rail taken for one right now. And you can Slasher was saying a little bit earlier that he really, really fucking hates this map. But right now, four up on one, just How about three and a half minutes into this thing. See, I, I'm wondering the same thing, but. I'm sorry, yeah. arrow walk. Excuse me. Seriously, Excuse me. Yeah. software. I know. It, yeah, we're, we're supposed I to know. use the names. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, and hey, you know what though? We can, we can fucking curse you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, that's awesome. All right. Anyway, Slasher, I think is running away with the score here. He's got uh, now a six frag lead. He was almost allergic to one of those green armors a little bit earlier. He kept leaving it up, leaving it up, leaving it up. But um, I think at this point, Homicidal Waffle is proving to be truly a homicidal waffle. And uh, right now, the only thing that he's got going for him is that Slasher is toasting his ass repeatedly. Seven for one jar. <laughs> Actually, a few of these situations I'm looking at, if Homicidal Waffle was a little bit quicker on the draw through the teleporter, he could actually be catching Slasher out in a lot of these positions. Nice rock into the face. Slasher still having trouble with the red armor jump. I mean, come on, it's the easiest it's ever been in Quake history. Uh, but, hey, well, you can't bash him too much for that. Actually, Just about they, halfway through here, looking at eight on one. Yeah? I'm trying to remember, did they, did they make it a little bit easier? Did they touch yeah, up because the now it has that little bevel. It used to be yeah, just a square yeah. corner. Uh, uh, yeah, as I was trying to remember, and I was like, well, maybe maybe I've forgotten. I mean, because I haven't fired up Quake 3. I don't even have it on my machine anymore. I know it's sacrilege, but um, like back in the day, Quake 3 was like the first thing that I installed after the operating system, even before a firewall. <laughs> you know, yeah, Quake yeah. Live, I no longer do that. <laughs> I like well, this yeah. though, Homicidal Waffle starting to bring out a little bit more teeth, but still his railgun accuracy for nice. all the time he's using it, he's only at 20% accuracy. And actually, holy shit, those uh, internet problems we were, he was talking about earlier, they are oh. definitely coming to bear right now. Yeah, his ping is spiking something fierce. Yeah. Yeah, he says I can't oh, I mean, play, his ping is spiking. He's at like, well he was at 500, he went down to 250, now he's up to... 64. There we go. Yeah. Not where it needs you to be. You see, though. like, really experienced players miss the jump too, but it's common to to make that little rocket jump up, and if you've got a stack, just to de deny red armor, or I just keep, um, you know, keep running the armor. So, right now, Slash Oh, yeah, and that. actually, missing that jump can actually affect the timing enough to where you can pop out to mid just for a second and catch your opponent off guard where they think they're going to have an extra second while you're turning back around from the red armor. So it can actually, you know, uh, be a little serendipitous as far as favor towards you. But yeah, Homicidal Waffle will be forfeiting this one out with his lag issues. All right. Yeah, Homicidal was definitely having some uh, ping issues there. Now, if I recall, round one is going to be... Uh, best of one, and then we're gonna move on to best of threes later on in the evening. Yes, right. All right. Yes, round one, best of one. Rest of it's gonna be best of three. Slasher is even willing to do it again, but it looks like Waffle is gonna hop off. So, GG Slasher, we're gonna head off and see what else is up. DK Mortal One, um, it's at zero zero. There's like five minutes left. Two great players. 
Um, All right. So it is five minutes in, but there's no score. I actually kind of like well, it. We're currently it's looking at nine on six. Mortal down by three right now, but he's still got half of the map left to go. Being shoved into a corner here by Decoy. It's going to be a lot of damage coming his way, and Decoy is going to be getting a freebie off of that one. Green armor picked up by Mortal. Decoy still sitting on top of red armor, even though it's not going to be up for another five seconds. If Mortal wants to attack, this is going to be the time, nice. even as a press spawn, to take down some of Decoy's armor, but it's not going to be quite enough. Decoy is going to be picking up red here. Mega coming up in eight seconds, and actually Mortal does not need to be anywhere near here right now. Ah, walking right into Decoy's arms. Yes, although he does collect the Mega, Mortal is able to collect the Mega, and that's why we're seeing him be so aggressive here. Decoy, plus backing and using rockets pretty effectively, has a handful of armor left, uh, can, can easily take a rail. He's not in too bad of shape. His opponent, on the other hand, five nice. health. And uh, now Decoy, that's a free RA, and I think that, you know, I think we've seen in just the last minute of watching what the pace of this match will remain to be. Decoy is looking very well, strong. Well, it was six on three when we got in here, which meant that Mortal was obviously not plus forwarding his, his way to Doom during the entire match, but he is just going, all right, just want the one frag. Give me the one frag. I can make up the rest. 13 on six, though. That's a tall order at the moment as the RJ is up for the red armor. 125-100. Mega, it might actually be in, I'm not sure if it's in Decoy's hands, but it won't be up for several more seconds. Decoy taking a lot of LG out of the teleporter here. Now kind of go inside just for a second. Mortal not quite eating the snakes up, backing right into one, but De Decoy is also low on health here. 72 health. One rail can put him out to pasture at the moment. Not even picking up the 25 there. I, just as a heads up, guys, we've got uh, on deck, we're going to try to get all me and Van in just a few seconds. Right. Nice. You're going to see with uh, some of these players, it's such a fast map once you get going um, and these teleporters. And really, it takes oh, a little long time. Beautiful. Wow, Beautiful nice. rockets from D4. 44% overall, 39% rail, Forum has as well. And, you know, yeah, the, the pace of this map, one of the most uh, endearing qualities is that you can have the situation like we have now. Seven frags down, Mortal One technically can come back here because of the nature of Arrowwalk. And it's nowhere near as easy to spawn camp uh, out. It's nowhere near as easy to spawn camp it here in Quake Live as it is in some other games. In most other games, you can sit like right at that doorway that Mortal One is uh, is spamming out to right now and just rail, rail, rail. Thank you, man. But again, 80 damage rails, uh, starting with 125 health. It really what? Sorry. You, you got what? like the the triple repeat thing going. on. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Dude. Oh, that's a stretch. <laughs> that's a stretch. Oh. Sorry, it's like I, a I slogan, man. That. You sound like a politician. Well, so I'm, I'm not say drill, baby drill or something. I don't know. Mm. Uh, that's <laughs> kinky. <laughs> But one minute left, 15 on 7, and like I was saying, it's so much harder to, to pick- Oh wow, nice. Because of lower damage uh, rail and the- uh, Undodged the... there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Choke dodge, uh, but because it's so much harder to do uh, initial spawn rape here I'm sorry spawn damage spawn frags uh, at this point with this game I, 18 uh, I'm sorry 8 on 15. I just really don't see it coming back in in quake live Yeah, but well but. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Since we, we might not see this map Oh yeah, no problem. We might not see this map, you know, so it just, uh, later on, since we're at well, least we're gonna I'm be sure we'll see it in the map, so I'm, oh, yeah. I hope so. But I just wanted to say that mega area, there's a mega, there's a 25 armor, and there's a 50 armor, and even if the mega isn't up, when you're that player and you don't have um, control, you can easily run that part. So there is a, you can play this map really slow if you if you keep running, but especially with the teleporters. Um, which is why I feel like it's such a fun map, especially with these green armors. But 15 to 9, um, KM are always good players, but Decoy definitely, um, even with Mortal 1's 11 ping, Decoy edged him out.
All right, guys. And of course, they're all part of the same clan, so it could be completely planned, who knows, shifty eyes. Uh, but yeah, just like you were saying, uh, you can play it slow, but it'll really take out your ability to make a play for any of the major